The news today, new research on injectable weight loss medications is finding an unpleasant side effect and also pinpointing who may benefit the most from these medications. But first, Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a warning for 20-somethings who are embracing Borgs, which I didn't know what that was. I had to look it up and it wasn't what I was thinking it was. <laughs> no, it's absolutely not generally what people would think came into mind. In fact, for most people over 40, Borg probably brings a Star Trek reference to mind, but it actually stands for Black Outrage Gallon. It's a trend that's been gaining momentum on social media that involves mixing alcohol, often vodka, water, an electrolyte powder or drink, and even caffeine in a one gallon jug for you to drink it from a party. Now, the warning actually stems from people using extreme amounts of alcohol when they mix it, leading to, as the name says, blackouts. Now, I hate to state the obvious, but getting a blackout drunk is just dangerous. The fix? Just mix a little less alcohol with it. Now, preliminary reports from a, from a new or from a few new as yet unpublished studies suggest people using injectable weight loss drugs like semaglutide, brand name Ozempic and Wagovi, they have a 50% higher risk of developing a rare but serious side effect where a person's stomach actually slows down or even gets paralyzed. That's known as gastroparesis. Now, in one of the studies, this complication actually occurred in about one in 200 people on the medications. The main symptom of gastroparesis is extreme nausea and vomiting. Now, finally, also on the top of, uh, topic of injectable weight loss drugs, as more people turn to them, it's becoming apparent, apparent that about one in seven people have only a minimal response, losing less than only 5% of their body weight. Well, now research suggests the answer may at least in part be due to genetics. A small study finds a recently developed genetic test was able to separate people who lost an average of about 19% of their starting weight from a different group that lost only on average about 10%. Now, since those drugs cost thousands each month, knowing who's going to respond would actually be very helpful.